Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Audrey and today I am serving you some 2005-2010 glam with the Urban Decay Original Naked Palette. Now this palette is so iconic. I feel like everybody that was learning how to do their makeup in that time period had this palette. But I didn't wear makeup like for the majority of me growing up. Like, funny story, my mom actually had to like literally hold me down on the countertop in seventh grade to put some eyeshadow on me for picture day because I did, I like would not wear makeup. I hate it so much, so we've come a long way. But because of that, I did not use this palette until today. This is my first time ever trying it. I know that's insane to be like 22 years old and really into makeup and to never have used this palette. And I had to because, womp womp, here's the sad news. It's being discontinued. This palette is going away. And if you want to pick it up before it's gone, it is currently $27 at Ulta.com and on, in Ulta stores. That is literally half off. Great deal. If you want it, better act fast. Anyway, I had a lot of fun creating this look for you guys, and now we are going to jump into the tutorial. All right, guys, I have primed my eyelids with concealer, and I set them with setting powder, and now we are going to get into the Naked palette. So this palette only actually has two like true matte shades, this one right here and this one right here, which sort of diminishes the options for the crease, but that's not a huge deal. And then this shade right here, it can be used as a matte. It's kind of more of a satin finish to it, but I'm just going to go in to that shade just to, I know I already primed, but just to, or I know I already set, but just to kind of lay it down like one more little barrier. And now I'm going to take the shade Naked, and I'm going to buff that into my crease with this fluffy blending brush. These shadows blend so easily. Wow. Now this is my first time using them, so I didn't actually realize how soft they would be. I want a denser, fluffy brush, so I'm going to grab my... Anastasia brush and I'm going to go into the shade Buck right here. This is our last matte shade. And I'm just going to take that into the outer part of the crease and start bringing that in. Add a little more to the outer V right here. These two shades are blending together beautifully because they both have like the same kind of cool undertone. This is almost like the original Cool Tone palette. Like, Cool Tones are coming back. Okay, I am happy with the way that that crease is looking, and now we are going to move on to the lid. Now, I'm kind of doing this on the fly, so I haven't decided what I quite want to do with the lid. Okay. Anyway, I think the dogs are not going to bark anymore, but they might. Anyway, so I'm kind of doing this on the fly, but I think I might want to create an ombre kind of look with these really pretty pink shades. I feel like they're extremely cohesive, so let's see what we can't do with that. Now, I forgot to use this brush that comes with the palette in the crease, but we're going to use it now because I always like to use the brushes that come with the palettes. I don't know. So to start, I'm going to try by, I'm going to start by taking Sidecar, this really pretty kind of champagne-y, you know, actually, sorry, let's actually start with Toasted because it's a little bit deeper and I'm going to put that on to the middle of the lid. And this is just going to help me gauge where I want the rest of the products to go, kind of how I want this gradient to work. Okay, I think that might be more sheer than I thought it was going to be. I might have to use my finger for this. Okay, no problem. Let's just use our finger. So, oh, that is so soft. I'm just going to take... Okay, yeah, yeah, that definitely has a lot more pigment. Now, I could have, like, sprayed some setting spray or, like, used some water to wet my brush as well, but I'm lazy and also I don't really own a good sweating spray. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take Hustle. And I'm also just going to take that on my finger. We're going to do our look with our fingers today. Honestly, though, isn't that what people did when this palette was, like, the big thing? I mean, people used 
their fingers for like so much of their makeup. Now like we wouldn't dream of it, but even like foundation and all that kind of stuff. And people would use the applicators that like came with the products, like the little puffs and things like that. I mean, of course, professionals didn't do that, but just like your normal, like, high school girl doing her makeup back in 2006, like, that's what we did. Well, I wasn't in high school in 2006. I was, like, starting middle school, but you get the point. I'm going to take more of Hustle on the brush and just pack it a little bit more. My lids are just so dry. It's, like, my life story right now. I'm going to take a little bit more of Naked on the fluffy side and just like buff that back into the crease to kind of smooth that out. Okay, and now I'm going to take Sidecar right here, this shimmery shade, and I'm going to put it on the inner V of my eye. But I'm going to leave like the tear duct area open because I want to use Sin in the tear duct area. So again, just taking this on my finger and I'm just kind of like pressing and balancing this in. I'm definitely not using like a ton of pressure. After all, these are your eyelids. You can only get one set. So you need to be careful with them. That shade has the prettiest gold shimmer to it. Oh my goodness, I am loving this. Y'all have been sleeping on this palette for like 16 years. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was really quick and easy. And now to finish this off, I'm going to take this shimmer shade called Sin, and I'm going to put this in my inner corner. And I'm going to do it with the tip of my pinky. Um, I still don't have my beauty lights because the bulb burnt out with only me using it like five times. And I have already filmed one video without it, but I haven't put it up yet. I'm going to put it up, I don't know. Hopefully soon, this could be like a bonus video. Anyway, all I'm saying is, still have my beauty lights, so I don't really know if you can see how pretty the inner corner shade is, because it's not really being lit up by anything, except, you know, the natural light that's coming in through my window on an extremely cloudy day. Um, but yeah, in person, really pretty. Without any lights to show you, uh, I mean, you know, camera only picks up what it picks up. Okay, so this lid is looking really soft and pretty. And I'm really living for it, but I do think it needs something. I'm just, I'm missing a little bit of depth in the outer corner. So I was thinking maybe I would add creep to it, but I think that might be just a little too much. So instead, I think I'm going to use Dark Horse. And you know what? I'm going to try that on the fluffy side of the brush first. I'm just going to like tap in like, like that just like straight in okay yes my friends this is what we are missing just that little bit of extra depth I don't know like I just like my outer corner to like have that depth to it I think especially because my eyes are so round it just helps them to be like more open and have more of that like sultry look instead of just being like all the time Oh. Ah. oh my gosh, no! Okay. Swipe that away. I'm gonna have to put foundation over that, which this skin could probably use some more foundation anyway. And I worked so hard to get the skin at least like somewhat covered today because like it's just so dry that it doesn't want to accept foundation or concealer and then powder just like sticks to it I don't know like if y'all have any tips for how to hydrate your skin well enough to get makeup on it if you're really really dry please leave that in the comments too because I am not used to being this crumbly I definitely have a lot of fallout with this palette y'all a lot of fallout but like here's the thing about me and fallout like for a lot of people they really do not like to have a whole lot of fallout 
But for me, I feel like I can always clean up the areas under my eyes that get dusty, but I can't necessarily always achieve a really pretty blend or a really pretty, like, level of pigmentation with just any eyeshadow. And so for me, if it, excuse me, if it blends really beautifully and it is, like, really beautifully pigmented and I love the color, I don't really care if I need to touch up my under eyes. Does that make sense? That's my little soapbox about fallout, and now I think I'm ready to do my under eyes because this is looking really pretty. Alright, so now we're going to take our fluffy side of our brush again, go into Buck, the darker shade, and just buff that onto the lower lash line. Y'all, I'm not even kidding about having slept on this palette. This is so easy to use and so cute. I was never really interested in it because I thought it just looked like a boring palette but now that I'm taking a closer look at it, now that I've created a look with it and I'm using it, I feel like you actually have a lot of options with this palette as long as you are working the shimmers and you weren't really wanting a lot of variety in your transition shades because that's not really here. But as far as variety in your lid color, like it's definitely really versatile and I just didn't realize that so I'm sorry naked that it took like the discontinuation for me to like finally realize how wonderful of a palette this is anyway so that's my lower lash line um yeah you know what I'm gonna take a little bit of that sin shade the really really bright shade I want a little bit of that on my lower lash line Okay, that is the shadow, and now I'm going to pop on a wing, mascara, lashes, finish up, and I will be right back to pay my respects once and for all to the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And this is it. This is what we were able to come up with with the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Overall, I'm really happy with this. I feel like it's really cute. It's definitely subtle. If I were going for something that was really big, really dramatic, really bold, I would have had to either really build up the colors, pick one of the black or um, blue shades, or just go on with a different palette. But for something that is everyday, for something that's fun to go out with, um, I am really, really loving this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was really fun to create. I definitely never wear my hair straight. I never wear a cami over a t-shirt. And so getting to relive some of those early 2000s days has been a blast. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel before you go. Ring that notification bell down below and be sure to check out my other videos. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.